AI agents are everywhere in 2026, but most of them just look cool and burn a bunch of money. In this free masterclass, I'm going to be showing you how to build real AI agents that solve real business problems using one of my favorite tools called NA10. And if you're wondering why we're using NA10, well, it's cheaper than pretty much every other AI agent platform out there. You can now get AI automations built for you in seconds using their new chat builder feature, and you can host it yourself so you actually own the system. So if you've ever opened a platform, platform like NA10 and just being completely overwhelmed, this is going to be perfect for you so you can go from a complete beginner with no experience to an expert in 10-15 minutes. I can't wait to walk you through this and let's jump straight into the laptop. So I'm going all in on this platform in 2026 because it's the only way small businesses like you watching this are going to execute and outperform bigger companies with a lot of employees. So in this masterclass, what I wanted to do is show you how NA10 replace employees, remove bottlenecks and turn your ideas into systems that run 24 seven. So it's mainly, mostly around AI agents, which is going to be massive in 2026, only going to get better and stronger in terms of the capabilities. So this is so important. If you can just watch this, take some notes, you're going to be crushing it. Um, and you'll walk away knowing what, how to automate what most people still do manually. So we're going to be talking about NA10. I'm going to be showing you their new chat builder feature. It is so sick. Um, and the, be the beautiful thing about NA10 is it's so individualistic. It's so customizationable to the point where you can have a problem in your business and you don't really have to think. You can just type in a few words that takes seconds and literally have an automation built for you, like an AI agent or whatever it may be, to do that thing so you don't have to do it anymore. Crazy. Um, so it's going to turn you from a complete beginner, not knowing what NA10 is or anything about it, into a complete expert in literally 20 minutes. So lock in for 20 minutes. And if you don't learn this tool, other people watching this will learn it and just beat you. Simple as that. So yeah, let's jump into it. NA10 is actually founded in Berlin in 2019. Some people actually call it NodeMation, which is the official name. Um, but most people just call it NA10. Um, and if you're wondering, Charlie, what does it do differently from like Zapier or uh, Make.com and these other no-code no workflow builders? It's actually quite different and i'll explain everything in terms of the pricing and then i'm literally going to be showing you the new chat builder feature and how insane it is very shortly and this is the only thing you need in 2026 to build ai agents i guarantee you like it's crazy um so there are three things i just want to walk through very quickly before we jump into the chat builder feature and actually showing you how it works inside the platform so definitely keep watching but number one is the ability to self-host for free meaning you don't actually have to pay the prices of like 20 dollars a month 50 dollars a month you don't have to pay that you can literally self-host it for free and it's got execution based cloud pricing which means that you only pay for what you actually use and it's a very simple pricing structure compared to zapier compared to make.com this is the absolute best one which is why i'm going all in on it in uh 2026 so a bonus though is that it's actually open source as well. So it just offers more flexibility, control, and you can save costs by self-hosting. Now, if you were to build complex automations and workflows, what it actually means is you're not giving your data to the server of NA10 because you're self-hosting it compared to make.com and compared to Zapier, where you're giving it their data essentially. So that is a very big one. Um, and I'm going to explain this as if you were like a 10 year old. So the whole workflow run equals one cost compared to like Zapier where it's $20 a month for like 750 tasks or make.com, which is an operation based, um, task like count model. It's just like not very good if you want to have big complex projects. So if you're actually looking for a long-term platform to build these AI agents and to build these, uh, AI solutions, this is it because it is a bit more, I guess, technical, but if you can just master this and just watch this video, you're going to be at a great advantage for high volume automation build outs, basically. So that is the main difference. Let's just move on to the second one. And then I'm going to literally show you the feature in like two minutes. So just keep watching because you're going to find this valuable. So out of all their competitors, out of all the AI agent, uh, like workflow builders, and they has the strongest support for like AI and node based automation. So you can actually just use the AI agent and obviously the different chat models for so the different LLMs. You have like obviously open AI, you've got perplexity, you've got uh, Google's Gemini and a, a thing that people don't understand is that you can get Google's Gemini for free. Um, and like that is one that you don't actually have to pay for compared to like, uh, chat GPT. So that's a very good one. And obviously it's got the memory, it's got the tool and you can literally link this to like emails. So you can have an AI email agent. You can have an AI WhatsApp agent. You can have an AI telegram agent. You can literally have everything, um, based off what you put as the node essentially. So that is very, very good. And like throughout 2026, 
the barrier to entry is going to get even lower. So what I'm going to show you in a, in a second is how to like type a few words and it for, for it to actually build the automation for you. So all you have to do is just plug in your credentials. So you just have to connect like the OpenAI API key or the um like WhatsApp credentials, if that's what you want to build or the Outlook one, if you want an AI agent to manage your emails. All you have to do is to just like connect the apps to NA to N. So it can basically do the AI for you, if that makes sense. But the actual build out of it, you don't even need to do anymore. So in 2026, it's going to get even crazier because the barrier to entry is going to get lower and lower. Whereas if you were to think 50 years ago and like Jeff Bezos, for example, had to borrow a quarter of a million dollars. So he has to borrow $250,000 from his parents just to build the websites and um, just like the infrastructure for you know Amazon. That is like crazy because now you can literally, literally build it for like free because you could literally have like lovable which is like an ai tool to build your website you can use nhn for like all your all your employees it's just going to get even lower of a barrier to entry so if you can stay on top of this you can really make something happen so yeah and i'll be walking you through the chat builder which is essentially just an ai powered feature within nhn that allows you to i mean it builds and creates the workflows for you basically whatever you want so yeah as charles Darwin said it's not the strongest or fittest that survive the ones that can adapt to the environment best that will win. So yeah, if you can just stay on top of this, it's going to be amazing, but we're almost there. Um, so within actual NA10 like platform, there are 400 core nodes, um, which doesn't sound like a lot compared to like Zapier, which has, I think a thousand, also 8,000 and make has 3000. But if you can't integrate an Apple platform into NA10, which is what you want, let's say you want to do like, I don't know. I mean, you can link so many apps like it could be stripe it could be google calendar it could be gmail outlook um, it could be facebook instagram it could be whatsapp like the list goes on the apps they have like over 400 core nodes which i'll show you what a node is in a second um, it's essentially just like each part of this that allows you to connect and build automations but if it's not available natively as a core node you can basically just do a http request node and that can be like for anything so if you want to scrape websites if you want to just link it to a website. So like you can do that with a HTTP request. So there's a lot more flexibility compared to other tools, um, which is why I personally like it so much. You just get a lot more, um, yeah, I guess customization, if that makes sense. So let's jump into the chat builder very quickly. So if you come into NA10, what you can do is actually click on this build with AI, which is a new feature, which is the chat builder feature. It's actually quite new. And there's going to be more things that they're going to add with AI into NA10. So it's going to get like wild in 2026 which is why I wanted to make this quick masterclass. But if we click on this, all you have to do is just type a few words of what you want it to build for you, whether it's an AI agent, whether it's another automation, and it's going to build it within seconds. Like we can literally just type, create me an AI email assistant to manage my Gmail whenever an email comes in. So we click that. And you can see that within a few seconds, it is just thinking. And then it's literally going to build us the automation. So you don't need to know how to code. You don't need to know how to even know code anymore. All you have to need, all you have to do is just like connect the actual API keys and things like that to, um, the right node. And you can see that it looks a bit messy now, but it will put it together in a second. It's still thinking. So that's perfect. So when an email received, just add your like, Gmail, which I'll show you how to do in a second. And then it's going to run through the AI, uh, the email AI agent right here, as you can see. And then we've got the actual model. So it's going to be using OpenAI's um, yeah, model to actually interpret the email to be able to know how to respond. And then obviously it's added the tool here, which is the Gmail tool to send the message back. So we may need to add a prompt, like a system message, but you see here that if you click on this, all you have to do is just click on create a new credential to sign in with your Google or whatever app you want to integrate into NA10. So it could be like a WhatsApp one. It could be, I've got a tutorial on WhatsApp on my channel. I've got other tutorials as well, but like you can see how all you have to do is just add the API key. It'd be easy to, um, to integrate no matter what platform you'll be good to go. So in terms of like the actual AI agent, you would have to add a system prompt here. So you can see that we have the system message and then also the prompt, which is the user message. Um, so he says, analyze this email mm -hmm. to determine what action to take email from. And then it's got the JSON actual like from there and then the subject line and the body. 
So you would need to change this to whatever you want it to like actually do whenever an email comes in. But this is a pretty strong start. And then it's obviously got the system message here just saying you are an intelligent email assistant. Your job is to help manage um, incoming emails by like analyzing them and taking appropriate actions. So you can just tweak this for whatever you want, what you want the AI agent to do. So you don't even need to know how to no code. You don't even have to know how to like do anything pretty much. You just have to like plug and play your credentials in here. So like for this one, and you can use Gemini because Gemini's model is actually free. You don't have to pay for like tokens compared to OpenAI's one. It's actually getting a bit like expensive. But if you go here, you can pretty much just like click on create a new credential. Add your API key from the OpenAI website. So if we go here, OpenAI API key, it is, I believe you can go to either one of these, click on the top one. Just make sure you log in. Yeah. So once you log in, you should just be able to get your API key by clicking on create new secret key here. And then this is the same for like any LLM, like whether it's Claude Perplexity or like OpenAI, you can pretty much just add the API key in here. So then you don't have to, um, yeah, and then you're good to go. And obviously use Gemini if you don't have OpenAI. Um, but then in terms of the sending message back, that's just a tool. So yeah, you can pretty much keep this the same or you could let it define by AI, which is what it does right there. So you're actually letting the model, which is OpenAI in this case, define what to have as a subject line based off the actual system message that you give it and things like that. So that is pretty much how it works. You have a trigger. So whenever an email comes in, it goes to the yeah, AI agent right here. So system message and the prompt. So you're just giving it the information in the prompt user. And then you're essentially giving the system message, like what you want it to do. So think of it as like information and then what you want it to do very simply. And then just make sure you have the correct model, give you whichever one you want. And then just send it back. And you could swap this for like WhatsApp. You could swap this for like Telegram, any platform you want to have an AI agent on, you could swap it for. But like, this is just scratching the surface of what's going to happen in like 2026. So it's only going to get so much stronger. It's going to be wild. Um, but hope you found this helpful. Um, if you did subscribe and I do actually have a free community that I've just made. So feel free to hop in here. Um, it is one of the most active ones that I've seen and I'm working on building this like into something amazing in 2026. So definitely join here. We've got some great modules. It's free and yeah, you'll get accepted most of the time. You can see how many people we are getting like wanting to join this. So that'll be in the description. And yeah, definitely subscribe though to not miss like 2026 and the videos I post and have a wonderful day.